the British government and Big Pharma, of course, continues its campaign to shut down anyone who develops an effective cancer cure. And uh, I was delighted that David Noakes was able to join me on um, Humanity versus Insanity last night. And uh, of course, we reported that uh, Lynn Tyre's extradition order had been annulled by a common law court. And uh, now the common law court uh, documentation has been filed with the law courts. And uh, of course, this is the unlawful legal courts. And uh, now it's going to be very interesting to see how the legal system, the unlawful legal system, reacts to a lawful annulment of their extradition order. So, you know, this is a great opportunity and it's an opportunity for people perhaps to do a little bit of research into the common law courts and uh, understand how the fraud of the legal system works to effectively keep everybody in abject slavery. So, as at the time of uh, going to air this morning, uh, the good news is that uh, Lynn is still at liberty. And, uh, you know, Lynn is absolutely of the mindset that the uh, extradition order has been annulled and is, it is now uh, between the courts of the establishment and the common law courts to uh, determine you know, who has uh, legal supremacy. And the reality is that it is the common law court that has lawful supremacy. So watch this space. And uh, by the way, the uh, common law court also ruled that uh, Judge Supperstone had acted unlawfully and uh, should be immediately uh, recused from his responsibilities of um, sitting as a judge. And clearly, clearly, and uh, I was sitting in the appeal hearings, clearly he is corrupt because the evidence was such, so lacking in fact, that he should have dismissed the extradition order uh, request from the French authorities outright. But no, he went along because the judiciaries need to be seen to supporting each other in um, European arrest warrants. So, you know, Judge Supperstone should not be sitting over um, or presiding over any hearing because he cannot be trusted to be impartial. So uh, Justice Supperstone versus the Common Law Court. Let's see how that unfolds.